Hello everybody, hope you're feeling fine. It's your girl again, T Bell Kuto. You welcome back to my channel. Thanks for liking, for subscribing, and leaving your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much, guys. I can see the increase on the channel. God bless you. God, God bless you. So today's video is going to be a little bit unusual and it's going to be a long video because I want to show us some methods of getting some of our body's measurements like your handhold length, the crutch measurements, how to get your crutch in different methods, in different ways and method how to calculate them. So this video is going to be a little bit lengthy. Just bear with me. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I discovered most of these methods when I was trying to create my own basic bodies and basic treasure blog and they all worked out for me. I just picked the one that I am most convenient or comfortable with to use. So I felt there is a need for me to share these tricks for us to know. The very first method I'm going to be showing us is how to get a ammo depth or ammo measurement. And the first method is our shoulder measurement divided by two shoulder measurement divided by two and how do we take this shoulder measurement we take it from one edge of our shoulder point to the next edge of the shoulder point this is how the shoulder measurement is taken that is the total shoulder length measurement it's going to pass through our back neck to the other shoulder and after dividing it by two you need to add either one inch or 1.5 inches which is in centimeters 2.5 centimeters or three centimeters once we've gotten our answer we take a ruler let's assume this is my pattern paper i mark my borderline after marking my borderline then i go ahead to mark my bust line and waist line once i marked this i'm going to take this ruler and i will rule across both my waist line and my bust line so the next thing for me to get is my arm o line or my chest line after getting my answer this is what i'm going to be marking above my bust line this is what i'm going to be marking above the bust line my arm o line is what i'm going to be marking above my bust line and it is gotten from your total shoulder measurement divided by 2 plus 1 or 1 1.5 inches or 2.5 to 3 centimeters this is the first method I'll be showing you. Next method that I'll be showing you is the across chest and the across back divided by two. And how do we do this measurement or how do we take these measurements? We take our measurement from one edge of our arm hole line to the other edge of the arm hole line for across back and for the across front you do the same thing by taking taking your tape rule from one edge to the other above the bust point that is our chest across chest so my across chest is 39 centimeters which is in inches 15.4 inches if i go ahead to divide this by two 39 centimeters is going to give me 19.5 centimeters and 15.4 will give me 7.7 .7 inches this is what i have the next thing now that is essential for me to do is to add 2.5 to 3 centimeters to it because of my shoulder slope it's going to give me 22 to 22.5 centimeters in inches if i had one inch to 7.7 .7 inches it's going to give me 8.7 inches so i've gotten my ham hole depth or my ham hole line what i would do first of all i'm going to take my 22.5 or 22 or 
8.7 inches and mark it along the line whichever you are using then for the width measurements i'm going to be marking my 19.5 centimeters or 7.7 inches i won't be adding 2.5 centimeters or one inch to this exactly what i got after dividing my across back or across chest into two that is what i'm going to be marking which is 19.5 or 7.7 .7 inches at my neck line plus shoulder line and i'll also mark it at my arm hole line this is what i'm going to connect together to give me a square form then i will go ahead to mark my shoulder slope of 2.5 to 1 inches for back shoulder slope divide the line in between my shoulder slope and my arm hole line into two mark my bust measurement divided by four along the arm hole line or across chest and then connect my arm hole this is what i use if you watch my basic bodies blog you will notice that this is the arm hole measurement that i adopted for drafting my basic bodies blog one other method that i've seen people use is your back waist length divided by two plus 2.5 centimeters or one inch so you take your tape rule from your neck at the back to your waist length this is how you measure your back waist length divided by two plus 2.5 centimeters or one inch the next method i'll be showing us is bust divided by six this is bust circumference divided by six plus one or 1.5 inches or 2.5 to 3 centimeters i'm doing this both in centimeters and inches if you are using inches you pick inches if you are using centimeters you pick centimeters i think i've tried this like three to four times it's okay it's all well and good some people use it and it works perfectly for them it's also a good method to use if you are trying to look for a simpler way to get your arm hole length measurements the other method i'm going to be showing you is go up you simply go up at bust line from your bust line by three centimeters to four centimeters you simply go up by th three centimeters to four centimeters or by one inch to 1.5 inches this actually works you do this measurement from your bust point just go up by three to four centimeters or one to 1.5 inches you can also use this method if you are looking for a faster and easier way to get your arm hole depth or arm hole length or chest line this method works perfectly i've used it in the past and i still use it sometimes then the next method is your arm hole or top arm measurement divided by two this is very simple it's one of the easiest methods so far that i've seen you just go ahead to measure your round arm hole measurements of yourself or of your clients and just go ahead to divide it by two so what i don't know is if you had 2.5 centimeters or one inches to it i guess you must add it to it to get your arm hole line because of the shoulder slope so these are the methods that i know for drafting arm hole depth chest line or arm hole length measurements if you know any other method just leave it in the comment section below i would love to read about your own method but out of all these methods what i use frequently is the across back and across chest anytime any day for the bust circumference method i also tried it i made a top with it it worked and also for the three to four centimeters it worked but for the back waist length the shoulder measurement the arm hole or top arm method all I did was to draft pattern with them. I did not try the fittings on my body if it suits me perfectly well or not. You can try it out. Let me read from you. So the next formula I'm going to be showing us deals with the 
neck width measurements i know that we commonly use three inches three inches is 7.5 centimeters for this method but i've also come to discover that three inches or 7.5 centimeters is not suitable for all neck most especially those people that are on the bigger size and some people according to what i've seen what i've read they will just tell you for the bigger people use 3.5 centimeters which is like maybe eight to nine centimeters so what i'm going to be showing us in case you are not too sure of what you'll be using this method is what i use bet me sincerely and it has never failed me i am not saying this is not the standard or this is not the norms that the, that people use what i'm saying is should in case you find yourself in a tight corner they always complain about the neck width this method i'm going to show you you can use it for both centimeters and for inches what you will use is your total bust circumference for instance my bust circumference is 92 centimeters 92 centimeters in inches is 36.2 inches this is what i'm going to do i will go ahead to divide this by eight eight in inches or centimeters eight, i'm going to get 11.5 centimeters and 4.5 inches after getting this what you will need to do is to add if you are using centimeters you will add 2.5 centimeters to it and if you are using inches you had just one inch to it plus 2.5 centimeters what will it give you it's going to give you 14 centimeters in inches it's going to give you 5.5 inches this is half of my total neck width to get my one over four that is one quarter of my neck width what i will do is to go ahead again to divide it by two 14 centimeters divided by by two then 5.5 inches divided by two this is going to give me seven centimeters and 2.75 inches respectively if you look at what i have on a standard you are meant to mark three inches or 7.5 centimeters but even if it's a little bit short of three inches or 7.5 centimeters what i got after using this method to calculate my neck width is my exact neck width is not going to be too wide for me around the neck what i have as a basic neck should be firm around my neck not a little bit wider than what is supposed to be the basic neck so in using this method you're going to be getting your accurate neck width nothing short of it nothing on the high side the next method we are going to be looking at is the crotch generally lengthwise and um depth wise but the first one i'll be showing you is depth wise that is the vertical measurement of the crotch so in case you forgot to measure your client crotch depth this is the method you'll be using but this particular method is a general method that you can use if you forgot to measure your client um vertical crouch depth that is the crouch depth in a vertical line i hope we understand what i'm saying you will see it very soon in the video so let's assume this is my pattern paper and i have my ruler and i need to measure my vertical trouser length i'm going to rule my border lines which is serving as my guideline so i have my waist to hip measurement and after my waist to hip measurement the next measurement i should mark on my pattern paper right now is the crotch depth but i don't know this or i forgot to measure it or i am not sure the calculation the measurement i did was right so i want to cross check by looking at another method what you are going to do is to take your hip circumference your hip circumference your round hip measurements you divide this by four plus 0 0.5 inches or one inch in centimeters you use 1.27 centimeters or 2.5 centimeters this is the method you are going to be using once you calculate this method 
if you want less ease at the crotch you use a 0.5 or 1.25 centimeters but if you want the heels to be a little higher you will use one inch or 2.5 centimeters this is what you'll be using to calculate your crotch depth and once you use this method you are good to go i'm just going to mark what i have on my pattern paper and you can see that i have my crotch line i went ahead to measure my knee length on the vertical and the trouser length this is the vertical measurement of my trouser let's say i have everything and i am marking my hip divided by four on my crotch line my hip line and my waistline i connect this together like so also connect to the hip the next thing i'll be looking for along the horizontal line is my crush extension or length we call this extension or length it is in getting this crush extension and length that i'm going to be giving you different methods you can use to get this extension or length to have a perfect and well fitted crotch so the next thing we'll be going on to is our crotch extension or our crotch length the first method is going to be the total crotch measurement so let's assume we have our trouser waist at the trouser waist like so and we want to take our total crotch measurement this is how we take it we'll place our tape at the center of our stomach or our trouser waist at the center then take it round underneath our crotch to the back trouser waist i'm just assuming that line is my trouser waist that is not the exact trouser waist so you take it and you measure round like so from the front to the back to get a total crotch length this is how you take your crotch length so it is this measurement that we'll be using to draft what we have for our crotch extension for front and for back so let's say we have in total 26 inches in centimeters it is 66 centimeters we have in total 26 inches and 66 centimeters what i'm going to do is to divide both by two i'm going to be dividing both by two and after dividing by two i got 13 inches and 33 centimeters respectively so what i'm going to be doing now is for my front crotch extension i'm going to be deducting one inch from 13 inches this is going to give me 12 inches after deducting one inch from 13 inches for centimeters after deducting 2.5 centimeters it's going to give me 30.5 centimeters so this is what i'm going to be using for my front crotch this is my front crotch extension or length because i deducted one inch and 2.5 centimeters from what i have from the inches i have and from the centimeters that i have and this is how you're going to measure it you're going to start from the very edge of your line i'm going to be using this black pen so we will understand better you will take your long ruler or straight ruler like so then you will mark 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters whichever one you are using amongst the two you place your ruler like so then you mark from that very edge of your ruler you mark it straight for instance if your hip divided by four is maybe 25 centimeters and it is a little bit less than 10 inches or more than 10 inches so it's in between the two that will be your hip divided by four so instead of marking two or 2.5 inches for your crotch length what you just do is you put your straight ruler the way i did and just measure straight from the very edge of your pattern paper if there's no need for you to calculate plus two inches this has given you your hip plus your crotch extension or length i hope we we'll get that but for the back what we'll be doing is adding 
1 inch or 2.5 centimeters to the previous result we got we got 13 inches and 33 centimeters respectively and what we'll do for the back is to add plus one inch to the 13 inches which is going to give us 14 inches then we will add 2.5 to the 33 centimeters which is going to give us 35.5 centimeters so this method is like you are taking away from the front and you are adding to the back and this is how you're going to mark it just like the way you placed your ruler uh for the front you place it exactly at that tip also and just through your 14 inches and 35.5 centimeters if you are using inches or you are using centimeters with this method you've gotten your front extension or length and you got your back extension or length also without guessing what you will add to your front which is like maybe 2.5 inches that you want to add to your front or you want to add 1.5 inches more or less than 5 centimeters and 4 centimeters so this one is going to give you what you had to your front and what you had to your back after using this method and believe me sincerely if you try this out it really works it's what i've tried out and it worked for me because already even your excess has been added to this measurement already and it's not going to be too tight or it's not going to have a smile or something like that around your crotch area and the second method we are going to be looking at for crotch extension and length is keep measurement divided by 16 or by 20. this is the next one this one i think is quite common among fashion designers you can use by 16 if you want it to be to have more excess or should i say more ease and by 20 if you want it to be fitted my round it is 92 centimeters which is 36.2 inches what i'm going to do is to divide this by 16 and i will get 5.75 centimeters and 2.3 inches that is what i'm going to get if i divide it by 16 if i divide it by 20 i'm going to be getting 4.6 centimeters while in inches i'll be getting 1.8 inches you can see the difference between the 16 and the 20 inches the 16 gives us more ease along the crotch extension while the 20 gives us a fitted crotch extension or length so i would advise if you love your trouser to be fitted you can use 20 if you love ease you can use 16 just like we have our hip already measured on our crotch depth what you will do is place our ruler at that angle like so and just mark our 2.3 inches or 5.75 centimeters or you go ahead to mark your 4.6 or 1.8 depending on the amount of ease you want around your crotch extension or crotch length this is the method you will use what you will use for the back you can use one inch 1.5 inch or even two inches in centimeters it is 2.5 centimeters 3.8 or 4 centimeters or you can as well go ahead to use like four centimeters or 4.5 centimeters this is how this calculation is done i've also tried this method i love trying different methods and i just pick out the one that works perfectly for me or the one that i i i, I prefer the most so for the back what you do is just to add from that very angle you place your ruler your straight ruler and you will mark your 1 inch 1.5 inches 2.5 centimeters or 3.8 centimeters so you just pick whichever one is best suited for you this the next method i'm going to be showing us is for front crotch length or extension you multiply your hip circumference whether in inches or in centimeters multiply by 0 0.05 this 0 0.05 is not in inches is not in centimeters it's just a calculation when you multiply it by 0 0.05 for inches it gives you 1.8 inches for centimeters it gives you 4.6 centimeters if you check the previous method i used divided by 20 gives us the same 
result as this new method also so this new method also give us a fitted crotch extension or length at the front crotch so for the back of this one which you're going to multiply your total hip circumference by 0.1 not in centimeters or inches this is going to give you 3.62 inches and 9.2 centimeters you can see there is a difference between this back and the back of the previous method we got but this method the reason why the back is much more higher is because you are going to measure from that very tip where my hand is for the back you are not going to measure from the red line you are going to measure from that very tip where my ruler is you're going to measure your 3.62 inches or your 9.2 centimeters that is how you're going to measure for this back when using this method i'm currently showing us right now that is why it is that is why the back is a little on the high side than the previous method i showed us i hope we get that the final method i'll be showing you is the lab method I'm going to take my tape rule around the body form like so, tilt it towards the hip, the upper side of the hip and take the measurement. After taking this measurement, I will note it down. I have 26 inches, 66 centimeters. What I'm going to do is to divide this total lap by two. I'll be getting 13 inches and 33 centimeters. To mark your 13 inches or 33 centimeters, you will take your ruler from the edge where my finger is right now and you will just mark your front like so to wherever it gets to from that very edge you mark your total lap divided by two for your front crotch extension or legs this is how you're going to mark it and for the back extension or length this is what you'll be doing what you will do is to add one inch 1.5 inch or two inches one inch in centimeters is um 2.5 centimeters four centimeters and five centimeters respectfully that is what you are going to be adding for centimeters 2.5 you can add three centimeters five centimeters four centimeters it's all well and good and when you are adding this one two three four five whether in inches or in centimeters it's after adding it you place your ruler just like so and mark it if you add one inch to 13 inches you get 14 inches you mark from the very tip of your crotch to your lengthwise then also if you have it in centimeters also you place your ruler to that very edge so we've come to the end of this video you can try any of this method out for your arm o or chest line measurement for your crotch length or your neck width just try it out and see how it works for you i hope this video is self-explanatory or the methods were self-explanatory just try them out and in my next video i'm going to be showing us how to draft a basic trouser block or pattern so i'm going to be picking the method i use the most in drafting my basic trouser block just watch out for this video leave your thoughts in the comment section after trying out any of these methods that i showed us in this video i would really love to hear from you or read what you came up with if you know any other method you can just leave it in the comment section i'm also interested in knowing what you know and thank you for watching for liking please subscribe like till next time bye bye